Hello, I'm Alexandre from Portugal, uh, representing uh, Plug Portuguese Lego Users Group. And now, uh, one of the, the mocks I have here is RPS game. This was built uh, as a, a part of a con uh, contest at uh, MCPs, which Mindstorms Community Partners. It's a program supported by Lego uh, with the, the goal to help inspire kids uh, into robotics. Uh, one of the, the contests was uh, called Robot Remix. The idea is to, to get pick uh, the set, the Mindstorms EV3, and, uh, and the, the given technique set, and mix them together using the parts to create a new robot. In, in this case, the, the set used was the Technic Mind Loader from last year. And uh, I used the, its parts and the parts of the EV3 to create this robot. What it does, well, it plays rock, paper, scissors against a human opponent. And I, I can guarantee you, with this programming, it never cheats. It may not have the best strategy. It uh, only plays at random, but at least not, doesn't cheat. So, to, to play, we, the sensor detects when we play, and these two detect what kind of move we make. So. If we do this, no, no sensor is, uh, nothing is front of them, and it has rock. It played paper, it won. Paper beats rock. So, if I want to play scissors, only this sensor will be covered. It played paper again, and it lost. Now it lost. Now, if I want to play paper, both sensors will be covered. And it won, it played scissors. So anytime I want to play, now it won again. Now I play paper. We tied. It's a draw. <laughs> and depending if uh, the robot wins or loses, it makes a uh, different expression. Now he's happy because uh, he, he won paper against rock. Let's see now, I play paper, scissors again. Ah, it's a draw. Let's see if I can win. Uh, rock again. Ah. Oh no! <laughs> ah, no. I think I, I made it too well. <laughs> it's designed too, too, it's too smart. It's outsmarted you. <laughs> it's smarter than it cre its creator. Tomorrow it will take over the world. I, I'd better take it apart before that. Uh, let's see... Scissors. Ah, it won again. Rock... He played rock against my scissors. Uh, let's see... Paper. Ah! Oh, every time! Oh, dang it. <laughs> let's see now... Ah, again! <laughs> So when, when you're working on a build like this and kind of you, you obviously came up with an idea you wanted to do rock, paper, scissors, yes. do you go through kind of several versions as you kind of figure out the best way to build it? How does, how does your kind of process work? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, the, the, main, uh, the main challenge was to, to only use the parts available from the Mindsome set and the Technic set. And then the, um, the process was... Uh, another challenge was to make the fingers able to to open and close more or less organically. Uh, I come up with, with this linkage connected to the motors. And then uh, something I wasn't sure about was if I could use the, the two sensors to detect uh, the presence uh, of the fingers, the, the human fingers. Because this one not on top is used as a proximity sensor and it's using what it's supposed to. But this one on the bottom is acting as a light sensor. It is meant for uh, detecting presence, but uh, I noticed that it works well because uh, when uh, there's nothing in front, it, it detects some light. When the hand in, is in front, it detects more more light reflected, and it knows something is there. Those were the main challenges. Then it was a question of of building it uh, strong enough using the parts, uh, making some decorations to make it more funny. 
So, the, for example, the, the sand is uh, purely decorative. And the, the legs and the feet, so that uh, it would be a, a complete uh, robot, a tiny robot, <laughs> with a huge hand and a tiny hand, but a, a, a robot, recognizable as a robot. So it, it, then it was a matter of programming. Uh, I used the LEGO's official programming language, then did the, the programming, which uh, involves knowing where the, the hand is and the fingers, then de uh, detecting what uh, the, the human player uh, did, if it was rock, paper, or scissors, choosing what to play, it's randomly, it, uh, it uh, doesn't care what the player uh, did to, to change how it plays, mm -hmm. so it doesn't cheat. And then plays, moves, um, lowers the arm like a human player would do when, when playing pa rock, paper, scissors, and uh, do, does the gesture using the uh, two pairs of fingers to make the gesture of rock or paper, scissors. And also, as a, as a finishing touch, I, I think it would be funny to have different expressions. Uh, I had a screen uh, available, so make some use of it. Make so, put some eyes on the robot, make it a face, and have it different expressions. The, the regular, ah, I'm ready for a challenge, show me what you got. And then... It uh, gets happy or uh, sad if it wins or loses, or dizzy when it's a draw. Let's see now. It, it, it was a draw, so it got dizzy. Ah! <laughs> we played the same, how can it be? Let's see now. It won again, and it laughs in our face. A cheeky little bugger. It tied again. Again. Ah. I wanted to lose. Ah, it lost. It, it's sad. Oh, what a pity. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so it's really cool that you have the function as well as having some fun with the, the yeah, eyes some, and everything. Yeah, some, some personality. Mm -hmm. I. <coughs> sorry. I noticed that uh, children, if, even if they don't uh, know how to play rock, paper, scissors, they like that just to, to punch the, the, the sensor and see the robot do stuff. <laughs> even if they don't know what they're doing, they, they, like, they love seeing the movement, do stuff. Oh, a robot moving, oh, it has a hand that moves, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's really neat. Well, I appreciate you demonstrating that for us, and I think, I think it's a really cool build, so thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. My pleasure. <laughs>